Hey guys, today I will talk about a unicorn speculation that has recently happened and it is a very beautiful unicorn. It is a perfect unicorn speculation. I do not like, so many times when you're picking a speculation, you want it to be less than 50 cents. Uh, 50 cents. So this card was around 30 cents. Uh, I think the low was 30 cents and then the high was $7.50 and now it's a $4.50 card. I'm talking of Footsteps of Goro, which is a champion of Footsteps of Goro. Yeah, so it's uncommon. So it's uncommon from a set that was not open very much and it essentially reads, I'll have, you know, obviously the image here. Essentially reads two in a black uh, sorcery, put target creature from your graveyard onto play, and then in turn sacrifice it. So for something like Kozilak, uh, where he doesn't shuffle, he, uh, the problem with the bigger Adrazis was they always, you had to like shuffle your library, but and when we, you were done doing that, you, um, so if you throw the Adrazi to your graveyard, then they will shuffle <coughs> back into your library, which would defeat the point of trying to reanimate it. Now we have Adrazi which don't do that. They just go, they just go to your graveyard and they stay in your graveyard, and that's very interesting. So that's probably why the card has gone up in price, but it should have been that way for a long time, in my opinion. Thirty cents was a very low price to pay. Like you could have bought as many copies as you wanted for under fifty cents, and now you would be looking at an eight x, at least an eight x multiplier. If you bought them at 30 cents, your multiplier right now at 450 would be a 15x multiplier on a card with extremely low risk because the card was not going to go below $30. That's the type of speculation I love. Um, underworld connections, um, anything like that where desecration demon, uh, pack rats, a card where, you know, a painful truth, a card where essentially the it's so cheap and it just feels good that you know at some point somebody will make another card in the future and it'll be playable. So I like it a lot. It's definitely one of those speculations that I wish I went a little more deep in um, into. Uh, I didn't buy any foils, so I was you know bad, but I did get uh, eight to 12 copies of the Uncommon uh, right before the spike actually because I was experimenting with the same decks. Like I was like, oh, as soon as I saw um, Kozilak, I was like, oh, wait a second, maybe all these are Drazi. So I didn't realize that like, I, for whatever reason, I felt like they would all be in the same set. So Kozilak and, you know, I wasn't up to like the updates that often. So I felt like Kozilak, um, what's the other one? Spaghetti Monster and as well as um, Ogamog. I felt like they would all be in the same set. And it turned, so I felt like, oh, wow, geez, this, this guy doesn't shuffle your library back. Well, let's uh, reanimate this. Let's go and look for anything that reanimates it. But, um, so again, a lot of times when I buy a card, I'm buying it because I'm buying it for the wrong reason. I felt like the um, Spaghetti Monster would be amazing, that it would take an extra turn, but instead of like shuffling your library, you could just put it in your graveyard and you play this card and comes back and I felt like some of them would have Annihilator which was again so you know I will honestly tell you a lot of times when I hit on a card I'm I'm buying it for probably not the reason that I should be buying it for I'm buying it because I'm didn't read up on news and I'm just figuring hey this is probably what's going to happen let me buy it but that was a card that is a unicorn if I've ever seen one because that card's not going to go down that much like maybe it goes down to three dollars at most but barring a reprint, uh, it should see modern play. And once modern season starts up, because it's only legal and modern, 450 might be a cheap price for it. Um, it might go up even more in price, depending on what we see in the next set. Because none of these are draws the. Well, I mean, again, Emiko, very cool. I got him in my graveyard, but he's not going to stay in my graveyard. Right? So I need these, like, cards that, like, can do stuff that have entered the battlefield abilities, which the Adrazi definitely do, but I, this doesn't like mess with my graveyard. Uh, and these new Adrazi are that. So I don't know if the deck is going to be very good, but I do know the deck will at least have casual interest. So the card at 30 cents was a steal. Um, 
Is it a $7 card? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we can get back up to $7, $8 uh, when modern season kicks off because it's only playable in modern, so its price is not dependent on anything right now because modern, it's not modern season yet. Anyway, bye guys.